Nobody in the world generates more trash than Americans, and there's a way we can turn all that waste into energy. But the US has barely touched this tech over the last two decades, until now. Florida officials are planning to build the nation's largest waste to energy facility in Florida's Miami-Dade County. We've told you before about how this concept works. Now though, we're seeing more of the real world implications from its potential use. Three possible sites have been identified for location of this proposed $1.5 billion waste to energy plant. But residents from all of these sites have voiced opposition, saying they don't want it built near them. Locals are raising concerns about bad smells coming from the plant, while environmentalists warn of its potential hazards to water and air quality. One prospective city even threatened to sue if a proposed site within their borders was selected. Florida Rising, a nonprofit organizing group, is protesting the plan. They're calling for the county to, quote, innovate, not incinerate, advocating for more eco-friendly solutions like composting. The plant is set to replace a previous Florida waste to energy facility that burned down in 2023. Officials say this new location would be able to dispose of 50% more trash than the older one, converting 4,000 tons of garbage into power every day. They also claim the tech used to build the next plant will be more environmentally friendly and far less smelly. The county site selection process currently remains ongoing, with no timeline yet in place for when construction will begin. Jack Almer, Straight Arrow News.